Shalom Akim, it's your brother Malcolm, I'm coming at you with another lesson, uh, giving all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem Navashai, whom I worship, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who are the true leaders of all Israel on earth today, all right, um, who, and double honors unto them because they are worthy of it, um, salutations to the Akim that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, that risk their lives and their freedom to do so, salutations to the confusion of faith brothers who are pushing and learning, all right, um, you confusion the face brothers out there, step forward. It's time. Um, and salutations to the Aquaf that are listening and learning as well. Um, gonna destroy another Edomite lie today. This video will probably uh, get a lot of views as a result of it, and it will probably be double the scoffers on it. I can't imagine why, but truth hurt them so bad, they're gonna be really mad and butt hurt. Um, but we're gonna, I watched the video that the brother, um, Yashawamba, elder, elder down in uh, Dallas, put up, and uh, it was about a, a um, a, um, a Hamite from Mizraim, who who professed his blackness when 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 I wasn't aware that even black-skinned uh, Hamites. According to Esau, when they come to America, were classified as white. He worked in a uh, in a white school district. His name was uh, Mustafa Henry. Okay, and Mustafa Henry, uh, you know, it went as long as he classified himself as an Egyptian or an Egyptian Arab, he was okay. But the moment he started saying that he was black, because his his skin was very brown, and he knew his history, and he knew his his. Uh, his forefathers were of the Egyptians and that they were a black race. I actually used to work with a guy who was an Egyptian and he, he was very dark skinned, a lot darker than me. And he did kind of have that Ishmael like look to him, but he would always tell me that his grandfather on his father, his father's father was a Nubian and was very dirt, very, very dark chocolate. All right. Well, Esau came up with a theory and we know that the theory is based upon guesses and then there's no, no fact in theories, but they took this theory and ran with it. And, I wasn't aware of this, that they created a, a Hamite, that in, in, in Esau's world, uh, they have a two sets of Hamites, clearly, because there's a Hamite sect that's, even though they're dark skinned, they're still con considered white. And that was the lie that they came up with because they uh, they wanted to profess that, or, 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 or according to their theory, that whites were super superior to so-called Negroids and Mongoloids for that matter, but uh, which is all made up. But their mindset was that there's no way that a black race could have built ancient Egypt. So they conveniently make these people uh, a section of the white race, even though they are dark skinned, which, uh, which, which is a counterintuitive to, to white supremacy because according to them, if you have a drop of black blood, you're a nigger. So you're done, Esau. They're destroyed, and that theory was was uh came uh, uh was you know basically going back to Johann Blumenbach who Blumenbach who came up with the whole uh, Negroid, Mongoloid, and and Caucasoid, all right, and then uh, Sigmund Freud. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Sigmund Freud got on, you know, stood on the shoulders of his false research, and then you know filled in the rest of the blanks. So that's where this hermetic theory comes from. Let me read it. It says, uh, the hermetic theory uh, saved white supremacy and called black people uh, white blacks, basically, because they were incapable, because blacks were incapable of building a civilization. So that was their mindset to keep. And so the white man is very comfortable, the so-called white man, who is Esau Edom? And we're going to get into some scriptures and some evidence um, to prove a few things. Um, is a liar and is very comfortable uh, living a lie. Very have no problem with 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 living a lie at all. All right. And uh, wait, I'm gonna pause this for a second, turn this light, and grab a a, a book that I need. Salakia. Okay. Um. So back to the uh, destruction of this lie of the Hermetic theory. I needed that uh, Young's Dictionary Bible. The uh, definition of of, uh, of um, ham. So 
I have the book in front of me that, you know, if you've been watching the channel, you're very familiar with, by uh, Gior Giorgio Ferrero, all right? Giorgio Ferrero, and it's called uh, The History and Treasures of Ancient Egypt. So I'm just going to turn to page 68. And what do you see? So they want to make these Hamites white. And see, and the main reason why they want to make these Hamites white because they like to go from this time period when the Ptolemies came in there and took over and became the new royalty, et cetera, et cetera. All right. But as he said, the ancient Egyptians prior to that, these are actually Israelites in slavery. Okay. The slaves, the Israelites building the pyramids and things of that nature. Okay. But that therein lies the problem because they don't want to believe that a dark race of people could do that. All right. And the truth of the matter is it wasn't even the Egyptians that built these pyramids. The Israelite slaves built these pyramids and to give up Egypt to, to, to admit what is obvious by looking at the artifacts. Remember how I said art in many ways is, is, uh, is more important than the written text because the art will show you something. You look at their features and their facial features, all right, because white people would never do that. They would never make dark images of themselves, so-called white people. But the images, and hence the reason, too, why the destruction of noses and lips, you know, all throughout Europe, they did the same thing to try to deny the presence of the, the Hebrew Israelites um, who were in, who were ruling class people in Europe as well during, throughout the Dark Ages. Um, and this is what they did. You could clearly see hidden when you look in there, those features, that's an African. That's a so-called African. Someone who, because the real Egyptians are down in the sub-Saharan. And that is the part of the, the, Ham, the Hamite theory. The part of that Hamite theory is that uh, these, these, this particular set of Hamites were uh, far superior to the rest of them. To to uh, uh, to the sub-Saharan, but the real Egyptians were forced into the sub-Saharan for the most of them, for the majority of them. All right, but here you go. These are the Egyptians prior to the Edomite invasion through Alexander's uh, general, the Ptolemy, through Ptolemy and his and his line. All right, and so the 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 Hamite theory created by the so-called white man is saying that black people. This this particular dark Hamitic people were uh, and these are slaves, so those are actually Israelites. All right, these were Hamite shipmen. Okay, all right, and there 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 uh, accounts in the Bible where Egyptians were mistaken for Israelites and vice versa. All right, there was a uh, I forget exactly where, but there was a part in the Old Testament where the uh, the Israelites were going to bury, I believe, Jacob and uh, the other Hamites. I think it was the Philistines. If I'm, you know, you can clearly see that's not a so-called white person. Um, say that there's a great mourning among the Israelites, and Paul himself was mistaken for an Israelite. Moses grew up in the house of Pharaoh. Okay, and there, therein lies the problem to give to 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 admit. That the, the, what's the obvious, what you're looking at, that the Egyptians were a black race of people, means that the Israelites is a black place of people. And that therein lies the problem. Okay? So let's get a couple scriptures and then we're going to get some definitions and some maps. All right? But this is uh, Amos 9 and, and 7. It said, Are ye not as the children of Ethiopians unto me? O children of Israel, and the Ethiopians is one of the few races today, uh, the, even they're Cush, but they know that they're Cush, but still called by that name Ethiopian still this day. And when you see an Ethiopian, you can clearly see that they're not so-called white people. All right, and which is a which is a which is a, a a stumbling block, you know, to white superiority because once again, according to white superiority here in America, uh, from the time of the slave trade. If you had one drop of black blood, you were a nigger. But yet they want to claim a whole race of uh, 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 multiple races of Hamites 
who were a sex of white. It's ridiculous. This is what is funny, man. So, um, so it says, yeah, are ye not as the, as the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, saith the Lord, have I not brought you out of it, out of Israel, out of the land of uh, Salaki? Have I not brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt and the Philistines and from Kaffir and the Syrians and from Kerr? So the Syria today is just about, that's telling you that those people were black. And we're going to prove that with maps and, and, and definitions. All right. And more so. The artifacts have already done so, okay? You can clearly see the back of that. Those are not so-called white people, no matter how much you want to come up with your hermetic theory, which is flawed, because once again, according to you, if you have one drop of black blood, you're a nigger. But yet you want to claim a dark race of people because this was the, the, was the, the, the scratch on your white superiority. Because according to you, black people were not capable of building any civilizations. And the truth of the matter is, they built all civilizations. What you did was you came in and stole them and took over them with the sword because that was your blessing. Hence the reason why you love Alexander so much because the Greeks had already established their way of building and, and et cetera, et cetera. You came in there, pushed them out of their land and took their name. As you do, you went to Australia and you took it and now you call yourselves Australians. You came to America, did the same thing. Now you call yourselves Americans. You went into Britain and Europe and call yourself Europeans and Europeans and Britons. You are not the people of there. You are the Edomites. Edom. All right. The uh, the, the the twin brother, not identical twin brother of, uh, of of Jacob. All right. That's who you are. This is Jeremiah. Uh, Thirteen and twenty-three. Can an Ethiopian change his skin? Can a leopard change his spot? That ye may also do good. That 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 the act uh, that are custom to do evil. So once again, an Ethiopian can't change his 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 skin. A leopard can't change his spot. So, okay, uh, Israelites were dark like the Ethiopians, man. Okay, so let's get uh let's get ready to finish this up. Now let's get this definition. I love the definition of ham. Um. In 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 this in the uh, Young's Dictionary Bible, okay. So this is a Young's Dictionary Bible, okay. And the, and just like the Zondervans, because the, the new ones have been revised because the Israelites were bringing it out so much that they changed it. All right. Um, the Esau doesn't like to be exposed, okay. But this is Ham, a son of Nor and father of Cush. Egypt put. And Canaan, so all of the land of Canaan, which we're going to identify with the land of Canaan is. See further on these four, while they all may have been dark skinned, they were not the forefathers of the Negroid races, but rather the people associated with Egypt in the north of the continent of Africa. In the north of the continent of Africa. We have biblical maps here. All right. So basically it's telling you the north of, of, of Africa which Israel is connected to Africa, like it or not. It's on the same tectonic plate, okay? But all those countries that are north of it was where Canaan lived. And we just looked at Canaanites because Ham's son were Canaan. So let's finish with the definition. Canaanites, so-called black people. You can see that face. It's not, that's why they love to destroy the noses and the lips, man, trying to take away, hide that, you know? Esau is, is pathetic, man. But it says, uh, the Egyptians thought of Canaan as one of their provinces, even into the very latter times. Why? Because Canaan is a brother to Mizraim. So let's look at this at some of these maps, man. Okay. Okay, this is Egypt. It said things that are north of Egypt. And now if you notice, this is Israel, and this is this this whole land is Canaan. Where is Israel? Okay. Let's use a pencil. This is a, a Egypt on the north end of north uh west east end of Africa. Not divided, still connected. All right. And all of a sudden, that's connected. It's not this land, this land, this doesn't separate it. This is connected to Africa. Okay? And you go up to here to the land of Canaan. Which and the land of Israel is right here where Canaan was, but Phoenicia, all right, the and these where the Philistines were, 
those Africans that they were fighting. Okay? So there they are. Egypt is connected to Africa, which is connected to Israel and the land of Canaan. Now let's look at another part of the map. Okay? Um, then and now. That one's kind of small. But it talks to the Babylonians, man. Those were Canaanites, all right? So here we go. The, at the continent north of Africa. So this is all Israel. Everything north of it is what? All this right here. And what do you see? Babylon. Right? Syria's up here. And let's open up to a big one where you can see more. Okay? Oh, back to the one we were at. What's over here? Jordan, Saudi Arabia. This was all the land of Canaan. This was all so-called dark people. So with that, I hope this was an edifying uh, for Israel and a, a hurtful blow to you Edomites and you heathens. All right. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.